bagel and viewers yes we are cooking with gas this morning we're moving pretty fast <laughs> on set with us we have none other than assemblyman dr faith b israel who's also of course the secretary of health wellness and social protection and the deputy chief secretary you know we, we forget that but that's also part, part of your portfolio mm -hmm. however this morning we are speaking um in your capacity as assemblyman for for bell garden yeah. and um that's in regards to a pro procurement proposal workshop and this is the second cycle of it yes it is so thank you for having me um yes they had so many <laughs> but it is what it is so yes this is actually part two of a program that we started last year called get registered and if you recall it it's it's based on the idea of providing the necessary information to the citizens so that they can participate in the procurement process yes. of the Tobago House of Assembly. So in the last go around, we spoke about how to get registered, what you need to do to be, a, to be an official registered organization in the procurement unit. This time, we are going to speak about how to do the proposals to hand them in so that you are more likely to be <laughs> recognized and you are more likely to win a bid in the procurement process. Yes. Now, let's speak a little bit about the need for this, because we have a, a situation here in Tobago where, you know, with especially for many of the supporters of, well, your party before, um, you know, hope that, you know, with you guys in office, they will be able to access some of those contracts that seem to go to only a certain sect of people or certain sect of business persons. Um, but the truth is, there is a process for that to happen. You can't just go and hire somebody. Yes, and, and I think that is the part that many of our supporters did not really understand. And yes, um, <coughs> Jellyfish Crew, Farley Fate and Friends, uh, whatever it is we are calling ourselves now, Independence, we recognize that a lot of the people who supported us thought that because we won, they would automatically be able to get contracts. The process for getting contracts is something that is even new for me um, because I needed uh, to learn about procurement, what you needed to do to get the contracts in, how the contracts needed to be. The fact that, for example, if you are applying for a contract in Tobago and they say you need these three documents, one being a VAT registration, if you do not have your VAT registration or if your registration expired the day before the, the date of the application, you don't even get, you don't even get your proposal looked at. So information like that, people I did not know. So it's important for us to provide that information to the public so that they are fully aware of what the situation is. And this is for anybody that's within the business sector, whether you're small or big. Anybody who is in the business sector, anybody who wants to provide um, contracts or provide services to the Tobago House of Assembly, whether it's construction, whether it is consulting, whether you want to provide flowers, you want to provide food, whatever it is you want to provide to the Tobago House of Assembly, there's a process to get that done. So the, the, the training that we're having on Monday is to help you do up the forms, do up the paperwork to apply for those um, contracts. Would you be able to tell me a little bit about what are some of the requirements to be part or to be on that list that are that's already pre-approved by the THC? Right. So to even be on the list, and this is what we discussed at the first go around, you have to actually be registered uh, Ministry of, of Legal Affairs or whatever it's called. So you have to have a certificate that says this is a registered company. Um, you have to have your financials, meaning you have to have your bank account because, you know, if you are trading as so and so they cannot then write the check in your personal name you know that kind of thing you have to have if you are making a large enough amount of uh, uh, revenue per year it means you need to be remitting VAT so you need your VAT registration depending on how large the company is so those are all of the things you need to just those are the things you need to just be on the list and then there are so many businesses that, that, that operate within this Tobago space that do not even have VAT registration there are so many businesses who operate that don't even have the businesses registered 
<laughs> wow. So you have to start there, so getting you know, your business registered. And that is why we actually named it Get Registered. Mm. So that is where you start. At the last session, we actually had some bankers come in and let us know what the bank requires for you to have a business account. And now that you are there, because that we actually had standing room only at that event last time. Now that you are there, now that you, you know, probably have all of the information that you are needed, whenever you see a, a bid or a request for proposals out now, you then need to submit all of your forms, but you also need to submit a proposal. And that proposal will say how much it is you are going to charge to do these things, what is the process that you're going to use? What is the methodology you're going to use? It needs to give all of the information about the company and the statistics of the company and the banking information of the company and all of that. So that is what this uh, workshop on Monday is going to help you walk through all of these things that you need to get to put in the proposal mm -hmm. so that you have a chance. And uh, no. So you said that, of course, there was a lot of people that were there for the first edition or, or first part of it, I should say. If this is the first time that someone is listening and you're the first time they're hearing about this workshop, can they still attend? Certainly, certainly you could still attend. Um, because all of the information that we presented at the last time is actually unavailable on the Tobago House of Assembly Procurement Unit's website. Mm -hmm. So you can get this set of information. We will point to you to where you need to get the previous set of information that you may not have gotten before. But definitely, if you did not attend before, you can still certainly attend this workshop on Monday. And is this only available to people within your electoral district? No, this is available to anyone as long as you can make your way to the Bell Garden Multipurpose Centre Monday afternoon or evening at 6 p.m., you can attend. All right, so there we go again, Monday evening at 6 p.m. If you are interested in doing business with the THA, if you're one of those that are, you know, tired of being ignored by the THA and um, cut to the complaint that there's only, only, only a certain amount of people keep getting the contracts over and over, this is your chance to make sure that you can do what is needed to be on the list. Certainly. And, and let me just say one thing. What, one of the things we recognized early up is that those, you know, few contractors that seem to be benefiting because they had been making money over the last how many years and they've been building up their assets, they can actually afford to pay somebody to do their proposals for them. See, that is the part that a lot of people don't know. So they see a bid out, they see a thing out for, for bids to come in, and they would actually pay someone $10,000, $15,000, do up this proposal for me, and then they submit it. But of course, a small upcoming businessman does not have $10,000, $15,000 no. to hand over to somebody. So that is why we are providing you with the information. So you don't, you don't have to try to pay somebody to do it. We already know you're small. We already know you're trying your best. So we are giving you that information. We are actually paying the tutor to come in and provide the information to you for free so that you can then put together a proposal that makes sense that would allow you to win a contract. All right. And let's repeat on Monday at 6 p.m. Yes. Monday, 6 p.m., Bell Garden Multipurpose Center. That is where you need to come uh, uh, to get all of that information. So whether you are a small entrepreneur or a bigger business person, whether you own a parlor or you're operating out of your home. Mm -hmm. Come, this is a space for you. This is a time for you to come and learn all that you need to so that you can be a part of that process. All right, I want to thank you, Dr. Faith B. as well, for being on with us and just to give us a little insight and sharing this information with the public so that more people can get access to the services from the THA. Certainly. And be on that list. Thank you. Thank you for having me. All right, well, viewers, that's how we're going to have to wrap the show this morning. I want to thank you for being with us and for viewing, and I hope that you learned something from all the information that was shared this, this morning. I almost said tonight. I don't know. I think the day is running away from me. But anyways, thank you. Have a wonderful, safe, and productive weekend, and we'll see you again on Monday. Yeah. Hey. Bagel Update. Oh, no, no, no.